video that I, I've been thinking about making, and it, it's a topic that you know I think about pretty often, is is riding a motorcycle hard. You know, I think a, a lot of people that watch moto vlogs, you know, if you read the comments, you can tell that there's a lot of people that don't ride motorcycles or are really inexperienced riding motorcycles. Uh, but it seems like there's a a large group of people that watch moto vlogs that are you know really interested in riding but they're maybe they're too young or you know they just never bought a motorcycle or something because a lot of the questions that get asked are pretty basic and simple and if somebody you know was riding and was used to riding then you know they wouldn't be asking these questions so I think one of the you know one of the things that people who haven't ridden motorcycles but want to you know one of the things that they might be afraid of is that riding a motorcycle could be very difficult to learn so I, I kind of wanted to uh, you know ad address that and kind of talk about you know what I think as far as that's concerned so long story short is riding a motorcycle hard no not at all I don't think so um, now, with that being said, it does take a lot of practice, just like anything. I think that, you know, riding a motorcycle, it, there's a lot of different elements when it comes to riding motorcycles that you have to deal with. Um, you know, there's maneuvering the motorcycle and understanding how the motorcycle works. And there's a lot of different aspects to that but then there's also the aspect of dealing with the unexpected and traffic and um, you know different surfaces and the weather and stuff like that so there's a lot of different elements that you know you have to get used to when it comes to riding a motorcycle but all of these things over time and gaining experience riding and learning and you know spending the time studying or watching YouTube videos or, or whatever you're gonna you're gonna learn all these things and they're gonna become second nature to you I think you know one of the biggest questions or concerns that a lot of you know newbies or guys that haven't ever even ridden a motorcycle you know one of the things that they ask about is um, or think they might have trouble with is starting from a, a dead stop like if you're at a stoplight you know people they get worried about having to pull in the clutch and shift gears and accelerate and let out you know and um, people get nervous about stalling you know motorcycles and actually when I took my when I went to the MSF course there was a guy that literally he couldn't take off from a dead stop to save his life I mean the guy literally stalled it uh, every time and I, I know for him it was really frustrating because um, it's embarrassing you know for one but number two I mean if riding motorcycles is something that you want to get into well you're not going anywhere if you can't um, you know get going so but it's one of those things that if you practice it and over time it's just going to become second nature and it's not going to be you know an issue at all so riding a motorcycle isn't hard and in my opinion riding motorcycles as a form of transportation they're a lot it's a lot more fun than driving cars and it it's more of an experience you know all around every aspect of uh <laughs> Uh, every aspect of riding motorcycles is an experience as opposed to you know driving a car that is pretty mundane you know for the most part uh, riding motorcycles are just fun saying though is 
even though riding a motorcycle isn't hard and that I think it's really a lot easier than you know most people think it is it does take you know a lot of work to get comfortable riding and I think that I gotta get around this person. And so, I think that there are, you know, certain people that shouldn't ride motorcycles. And even though when people talk about, you know, that there's really no comparison between, you know, driving a car and riding, I do think that there are some indicators about driving cars that can be applied to riding motorcycles. So, for instance, um, if you get, if you're a really emotional driver, and you get anxious in traffic situations or when there's a lot of cars or you get you know anxious on the highway or you get road rage or let's say you've been in a lot of accidents regardless of whether it's your fault or not if you have been in a lot of accidents or if you're an emotional driver, you just don't have a good driving record, I don't think that you should drive a motorcycle. And my thought process is that even though riding a motorcycle, the actual technicalities of it is completely different from a car, it's still a mode of transportation and you're still gonna be in the same environment. The issue with riding a motorcycle though versus driving a car is that everything that happens in a car is going to be magnified, you know, times 10. So if you think that if getting on the highway or driving in traffic makes you nervous in a car, it's really going to make you nervous on a motorcycle just because of the fact that people don't pay attention to motorcycles and frankly people most people don't care about motorcycles I mean I have people who clearly see me who will cut over into my lane almost just like pushing me out of the way like they just expect since I'm on a motorcycle that and they're in a bigger car that they can just you know merge regardless of whether I'm there or not and the same thing can be said with if you're prone to having accidents or you've been in a lot of accidents as a driver you're going to be in a lot more situations where you can get in an accident on a motorcycle even things that don't involve other cars let's say if you're if you're in a car and you hit a pothole or a bump or something you don't have to be paying attention to it because nothing is going to happen i mean you're just going to hit the bump and keep on going but if you're on a motorcycle and you're not really paying attention or, or maybe you're riding with one hand and you hit a bump it's possible that you'll hit the throttle you know and, and you could crash or have an accident so and these are things that happen all the time so I think if you can if you ask yourself you know do you have issues driving are you emotional do you get angry or upset uh, have you gotten a lot of speeding tickets or, or tickets uh, do you get pissed off driving a lot? Well, if you answered yes to those questions, you probably shouldn't ride a motorcycle. Because you're just going to endanger yourself. So, once again, guys, like I said, riding a motorcycle is not hard. It's a lot of fun. But it does take a certain kind of person to be successful riding motorcycles. And it also takes a lot of practice and dedication. And unfortunately, riding motorcycles is not something that you can really... 
that there's not a lot of room for error you know there's not a lot of trial and error because if you make an error you're gonna have a bad day you're gonna mess yourself up so anyways if you're thinking about riding a motorcycle or you've always wanted one but you're not really sure you know I would just watch a bunch of videos watch a bunch of YouTube videos uh, definitely take the MSF course do as much research as you can but ultimately you know you've got to get on a motorcycle and you've got to try it out for yourself to see if it is something that you really like and want to do so anyways guys that's all I got to say be safe out there adios